Hi everyone, Jorgelina here. Thank you so much for being here. This is going to be another teacher video. I am actually really excited about this one. This one will end up being two parts. So this part is going to be the really long one where I go from start to finish completely from scratch. Once I have the template created, I will share that template in case you just want to edit with different images. So if you're interested in just the editing portion, then perhaps either watch just the very end of this video or uh, part two. So in this part one, again, I am going to take you through step by step the entire process from the formulas to the images, the whole, whole thing. I will not hold anything back as usual. But because of that, this will be a long video. I will put some timestamps at the bottom and hopefully you find this useful. As always, anything that you end up creating, if you would like to share with us on Facebook, everybody would greatly appreciate it. That is where I share all of my freebies along with YouTube here as well. But really Facebook is where all that sharing happens from hundreds and hundreds of teachers. We currently have more than 65,000 members there. Um, all teachers sharing with each other. So at first, I'm just going to talk a little bit about my process. So I like to sketch out, um, and by sketch, I mean, <laughs> uh, you'll see because I you can see this picture. Um, it, I just like to kind of envision what I want an activity to look like. And then I try to make that vision come to life uh, through a Google Sheet. So just so that you know, I have not started this at all all this is the first time i'm going to attempt this so i know what formulas i want to use i have a general idea uh, but again i haven't seen that finished product yet which is why this process takes so incredibly long and why using a template is always better and uh, saves you a lot more time but if you're interested in learning just kind of about the process that's what this video is for and i'm going to try to take it slow and again you can use the uh, timestamps in the description it once you get a step going it's very repetitive so then you can skip to the next step once you're comfortable um I do also want to give a shout out to my coworker, uh, one of the amazing members of my team. Her name is Logan. Uh, she came up with this idea and I came up with a way to digitize it, but she really wanted to bring the idea of MASH uh, to live. You know that old game we used to play back in the 90s if you were one of those uh, girls or maybe boys that played uh, MASH, so Mansion, Apartment, Shack, or House. Uh, so we turned it into an activity. So I am going to make a math mash um, and I'll make a couple different versions. But remember, this can work for any subject uh, once you add questions in there. So you kind of have this general idea of this very pic of this picture. So let's go ahead, dive right in, get started. Now here, what you see is just my Google Drive. I have created a folder. I called it MASH. This is where all the bits and pieces are going to go. Uh, so my first step, obviously, is to make that Google Sheet. So I'm just going to go to New, Google Sheet. It's going to give me a brand new Google Sheet, and I am going to call it MASH. And then I'm going to call this for now Working Template because I always end up having to make copies in between if something doesn't work, restarting, right, things like that. So I'm not going to be sh uh, changing the share settings or anything like that. This is just the one naked a uh, Google Sheet that has nothing yet. Okay, if you know me, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I like setting up a working space that um, has three uh, fluff fields at the top, at the bottom, and on every side. So three, and then I'm gonna make the last three over here. You can always end up adding more later or removing some. So three and three on each side. I'm going to select the first three columns by dragging. Hold down my control key or command key if you are on a Mac and then select the other three. What this does is that when I now go in and I drag, they're all going to be the same size. Okay, so what I, my goal is is to try and make it look like a, like a square right up here. So then one, two, three are the top ones. The ones at the bottom, we'll do those at the end. But this would be my first working piece here. If I have the three right at the top and then the three at the bottom, right, this would be, I guess I could do a sort of a color overlay so you can see what I mean. 
that would be one border and then I like having a second border I will end up absolutely changing these colors to whatever theme I end up having All right so th that's my border and then I like having one with nothing in it so this would be my first working space okay so that first working space will end up being my title so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to grab all of these on that first one, right? Leaving that border and I am going to merge the cells and we can make this one bigger because that will be the title. And I'm just going to put here title here. The one directly below it will end up being my directions or my instructions. So instructions go here. And again, I'm just kind of setting up this naked template of what I want. Okay, if you remember the picture that I showed at the beginning, that is what I'm trying to accomplish here. So I am going to have uh, six categories. MASH, right, the uh, mansion, apartment, shack, or house. I'm going to have college, so like where they're going to go to school or where they would graduate from. I want a career option. Um, a pet option, a city, and a car. Those are the options that I'm gonna do, okay? So let's set that up. So this would be, I do like to have placeholders for numbers. So this would be, I'm gonna go by twos. This would be number one. Okay, so then within these, remember, because this is going to be a block reveal, we're gonna be able to move these up and down. Hmm, I wonder if I should, yeah, let's do that. Let's. I'm thinking to myself right now. So this would be question number one. And what I'm gonna need for a question, we can always finish merging that together. I am going to need a place to put the question in and then a place for the answer. So I'm gonna go two by, let's do three for the question, just in case it's a big question, and then two for the answer. I usually like my answer choice to be a little bit smaller. You can even do four and then, um, yeah, maybe let's do that. Again, I'm trying to envision what I want this to look like. So it's gonna be four by two, and then two, half of that would be the answer. Okay, so this is gonna be question, answer. Okay. And then, so now what I'm going to do, so then that would be question number one, would be all of this. Or option one. I'm going to center everything. I'm selecting everything. Center, center. Um, this is just going to be a number, so it's going to be nice and large. That's okay. The question kind of depends on what you want it, right? I'm going to have math. In here is probably gonna be some multiplication question and then the answer is gonna go there. So that's fine, I'll mess with the font later. But I am going to need four options, right? This would be M for mash uh, and so this would be M-A-S-H. Okay, so that would be my question and my answer for mash. So maybe that's what we can add in here instead of we can put Mash. I'm trying to again envision what I want this to look like. All right, so that's my first one. And now I got to add the other ones, right? So I'm just going to copy this and go one down and then another one. And this next one's going to be college. Copy, paste. This would be career. Copy, paste. This would be pet. And this would be city. And then at the end, we are going to have our car. All right, and then I have to think about whether I want a final, uh, which I think I do a final like sentence structure, you know, saying something like if you saw some of the writing that I had at the bottom, like you will be a blank that graduated from, from blank. But maybe that is something that students can fill out uh, when they submit it to you after they complete this activity, like a worksheet that goes along with it. Uh, for now, I think I'm just going to have 
um, this that looks like that. Over here on the side, I am going to have the picture reveal, the image that shows up. Um, so we're gonna need, and then this one, I'm gonna need three and three. So again, I have to envision how I want this to look. Um, <laughs> definitely want something in between here. I'm gonna select this and the next one and make that the same size. And that's gonna be like my placeholder in between. I will remove the lines at the end. And then I need the, uh, I guess we can go by threes like this. Copy, paste, and paste. All right, that looks good. And then we're gonna delete this extra column. All right, so again, this is just the setup. This is why it's important that we visualize exactly what we want. So this is going to be, where will you live? All right, so this is gonna be the result of that mash one. And maybe the image will be, I mean, I want it to be a square. So we're gonna have to mess with this after. So this is where the image will go. Let's copy and paste and paste and now I have to see I think we can make them a lot bigger than that or I can write that sentence that I want here because there's only six categories so maybe we do two two and two yeah let's try that see this is why I like this like this okay so on merge, just use that button, copy and copy. That's perfect. So this would be where will you live? And then now from here, I need to make this a little bit bigger. I feel like now that's gonna be way too big, but we can always resize. Now that's too big. Arr, okay. Also, I, I will have you know that this is um, me just, I could always do the math, but I also like to avoid having to just always do the math. <laughs> what did I get? Perfect. Ha <laughs> ha, look at how perfect that looks. All right. See, you don't always need to do it. You just visualize it. Now, those are not squares, but remember that I can always mess with the size here. So I could just make these a little smaller until they look more like squares. My images are gonna be squares. Maybe your images are rectangles. Okay, this is where the images are gonna come up. So this is gonna be, where will you live? And center. This will be uh, where Where will you, or where will you graduate from college? Or and the next one is what will be your career? What pet will you own? Remember, these could be any categories, right? You don't have to have the same categories as me if you're making your own. Uh, what city will you live in? And this will be what car will you drive? You know, I'm kind of starting to, <laughs> oh boy, want to change this now. I want to have a place where that's going to go. So that's actually, I'm gonna make this into one. And then this will be the answer here. Yeah, I like that better. 
I'll explain what I mean. So for example, if where where you live and the answer is Los Angeles, I want them to have a place where that shows up and it actually gives them the word and the image uh, to go along with it. So I gotta go through. What I'm doing here is I'm unmerging and merging the cells. So I'm unmerging all of them, click on it, unmerge, and then from here I am selecting just the ones that I want merged together. So now I have two different fields rather than just one. And we will change the size and all of that after. Because these will have formulas that will be triggered depending on what questions uh, students are answering. So now the last thing that I need is I want the three, right? I have one, two, three. So everything from 52 and below needs to be deleted. So I'm going to select all that. I'm just going to scroll to the bottom. And I do like cleaning this up. It just, um, I don't like having all those extra places where students can write different things. I'd rather just have it like this. And I will polish it at the end. So for now, I have the setup. The setup is absolutely a necessity. And that is because with the setup, what you need is to know which field you're in for when you're setting up your formulas, which is what we're going to do next. Okay, so uh, for now, this is the end of this part. Uh, I am making this note for myself so that then when I'm editing these and cutting off the things that you don't need, um, I know where to put my, uh, my time check. So the first thing that I'm going to do here on this next step is I want to be able to view, show my formula bar. So view, show, formula bar. I can read these, right? I can. I know that this is E7, but it's always easier instead of me having to pay attention, especially when I'm off all the way over here, uh, for me to just look here in the corner and be able to see what field that is. Okay, so again, I can click on it and determine what field that is, but um, it's a lot easier to just click and read, um, especially when I'm filling out the formulas. I'm gonna need a sheet two, so I'm gonna open up a sheet two here. And the sheet two is where our answers are going to go. Okay, so I'm going to set up answers and, and questions for the images. Okay, so first, right, this is gonna be, this is just for us. Eventually we'll end up deleting a lot of this. So I'm gonna put mash, and this is gonna be one, two, three, four. So maybe mash answers. And then right next to it, we can put uh, mash images. Okay, so that's gonna be the first four. These are gonna be the answers to the problems and these will be the images that correspond if these answers are correct. Okay, so now in the next section, one, two, three, four, um, the next category is college. Right, so it'll be the same, so college images. I'm setting up, once again, this is still just set up. Um, the next one is career and career images. There's going to be four, one, two, three, four. The next one's going to be pet and pet images. And one, two, three, four. And the next one is city and city images one two three four and last can be car and car images and one two three four okay so this is my space here for now i am going to set my answers because this is just for me to test it this is going to be answer one two three four this will be five six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. All right, so these are my answers. And I'm gonna put these here now. I'm gonna make these match. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, and then here actually I'm going to need a mash image name. Okay, so uh, image name. You'll see what I mean, image when we get there, what I want to do. And this is the, this is why I needed that, um, that second line on that last step because I wanted to say the name. So for example, if the city is Tokyo, I want this to say Tokyo and have a picture of Tokyo. So this is going to have to pull from somewhere. All right, let's do this. Okay. So now we're going to start with the formulas. Okay, I am going to take a formula that I know sort of works <laughs> and then I'll have to sort of tailor it. So I do want to explain this formula. I'm going to copy it down and I guess I can open a Word document. Blank Word document. I'm going to paste it here. Make it really large kind of explain what this is. So this part here, the if count, okay, so this part here, this first part, um, this part is saying that it's going to give an answer of please answer just one if students answer more than one question in a category. So let's say a student answers more than one question in the MASH category, then it's going to give them an error because we only want one question answered so that goes with one image, right? If students want to answer a different one because maybe they got the shack and they want to live in the mansion, then they need to figure out which one to answer. And I am not, I'm purposely not going to put them in order. Like MASH won't be the first question. Um, I mean, mansion won't be the first one and uh, apartment won't be the second one because I want it to be uh, just sort of all over the place so that students have to figure out what to answer as they're going through it, okay? So that's the first part. And then this is what it would spit out. So if this is more than one, they are going to please answer one of those, okay? The second part is saying, if that field is equal to the field on sheet two, then I want this image to show up. If the second, the next field is equal to this one, then I want this image to show up. So. I just kind of want to explain how that works, but we are going to have to do quite a bit of editing here. So I'm just copying this and I'm going to paste it. I will put this formula. Let me save this Word doc, actually. I'm going to put this uh, formula in um, Word doc of formulas for MASH in the description so that if you want, if you are working from scratch and you also want the same starting point, you can just copy this formula exactly how I'm doing it. Okay, so, and you don't have to type it from scratch. So again, I ha already have this copied. I'm gonna minimize this. And then I am going to go into sheet two. And the first place we're gonna put this formula is going to be here. Okay, so I'm just gonna paste. Notice how everything changes colors, okay? So instead of P8, okay, the first answer for MASH is actually this one here, right? So E11. The second one, notice I'm just deleting, clicking, deleting, clicking, deleting, clicking. Those are my four, okay? On the next one now, on this part, this, I am going to delete that and click here again. That's going to be E11. The next one is going to be this one. The next one is going to be this one. And the next one is going to be this one. All right. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. Not that one, just kidding. This one. Okay, 11, right? Okay, good. That one shouldn't be highlighted. I'm trying to see, is K7 anywhere? No, good. Okay, I'm gonna hit enter. Notice how it says, please answer just one question. That part works. Right? Please answer just one question. And why does this part work? Because look at this. There's more than one. So now if I delete all this, nothing's here because those fields are blank. OK, 
Okay, so let me, once again, three, four. Please answer just one question. And now I have to select where the real answers are. Okay, so sheet two, Q215. This is where it's set up to Q215, but that's not where my answers are. So I need to go figure out on sheet two where that answer is. Okay, so my answers are gonna be in E16, 17, 18, and 19. E16, E17, E18, and 19. So we're gonna change that to E15, E16, E17. Oh, did I get that wrong? 15, 16? Oh, it was, it was 16, 17, 18, 19. Ah, all right, let's do it again. 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. And then next to it is where the image is going to be that I wanted to show up. And so in this case, actually, that's going to be the title. So the image name, those are going to be here. Okay, so these four are gonna be the ones that are gonna show up. So this is gonna be G. So G and the same number. So this is gonna be G 16, G 17, G 18, G 19. All right, so that's this. And now I'm going to put those here to test it. Okay, so let's say one, uh, let's put mansion here. Mansion, uh, apartment. Uh, let's put the first one to be shack. And then the last one will be house. Okay, here we go. There we go, shack. Apartment, please answer just one question, mansion, and house. Okay, so that's how I intend it to work. Perfect. Now I need to do the same for the images. But before I do that, and we will repeat this, so I'll put a repetition of this step on the next one, using now the formula that I have tailored to be a little bit more to our page rather than that weird uh, field I had before. So I need to do the same for this one here, but I want to talk about what I'm going to do with the images. So I already have a folder of images. Let me open up that folder and show it here. So I have this image. I have gone through AI and I have made all of these images, but I want them to all be the same exact size. And the way that I do that is by using Canva. So I do like using Canva for this. So I'm going to uh, bring up Canva. I'm actually going to bring it up on another screen just in case there's a, I have a million things there. <laughs> you never know what's gonna show up. So I'm gonna go into Canva. I'm gonna create, I'm gonna click on the top right corner. It says create a design. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm just walking through it and then I'll bring it up once it's empty. And then I am going to select Instagram post square. So the only reason why it's because it's just going to give me this nice blank square. That's all I want. I just want everything to be the same size. Okay, so now what I can do is I can drag into position. Again, I'm just gonna have those two fields open and I'm gonna open up those images that I was showing you. And I'm going to find those images and maybe I have to do some tailoring because AI is weird when it comes to pictures. So here's the picture of the apartment and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to put set as image background. Okay, so now this image is my apartment image and it's, I'm going to call this mash images. And now all I got to do is go to add another page and then my next one, I'm going to go into here and I'm going to find the next one. This is mansion. And let's just let it finish uploading and set as image background. Here's the mansion. My next one is the house. Okay, so this is what AI does that it's like kind of weird. 
So I'm going to set this image as the background and see how right here it kept, it kept giving me these weird things. So I am going to have to fix this. So I'm going to take an element and I'm going to put a shape. Sure, why not? Large working. There we go. I am going to just cover that. And in here, we're just going to write house. And let me just make this nice and large. Don't really, I am not too picky about the font here. If you want to make it cute and beautiful, uh, you can go right ahead. <laughs> I am going to use that color and it gives me some matching colors. So I'm going to select it to something that matches. I think that's good. All right, so here's the house one. Then I'm going to hit enter. And which one am I missing? So I have the mansion, the house, I need the shack. Um, so it was the same thing with the shack. I think I have two different images in here. I have this one that I really like because it's kind of shabby, but it has that word only in there. Again, AI does weird things with words and images. So here's a shack. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to move this. And um, like so up in the middle right here and, and then this is going to be shock <laughs> looks like the little piggy's home Bolt down image and this one will have it match there you go all right so these are my four images so now i'm going to download these now that they are all the same size, I'm gonna download them. I'm gonna go to download. I always like using PNGs. In this case, I'm gonna download all, all four images because the, those are the only four, but I am going to continue to use this template for the rest of the images after. And we'll keep repeating this process. So after this, if you got it, you might be able to just fast forward and then keep going with this process. So I'm just gonna repeat this six times because um, there are six things to do. So notice how now I have the mash images here. I'm gonna hit clear and I'm gonna lower this and lower this. And these are my four images that are good to go because they're all the same size. Go over to sheet two and I just wanna make this smaller for now so that I can have these two next to each other. Let's cover my daughter's face. All right, so I have the folder and then this one next to each other. So now from here, I have to add these images into here that match, right? So I want the house here. So I'm uh, my first image here is the apartment. So that one needs to go here. So I'm gonna click where I want the image to go. I'm gonna go insert image, image in the cell and then drag that apartment over. The next one here is the mansion. So I'm gonna click on the mansion, I'm gonna go insert image, image in the cell and drag that over. The next one is the house, insert image, image in the cell and here goes the house. And then the last one is the shack, insert image, image in the cell and move that right over. I am done with this and I am going to close it. And let's make this a bigger again. <laughs> And now I'm done with this part here. Now I got to put this formula here. I am going to remember my formula is going to be set up for G and all I'm going to have to do is change those to F because that's where the images are going to go. Okay. So again, I'm going to take the formula that I put up here. Okay. I'm going to select there. I'm going to control A to uh, control A to get all of it. Control C to copy it double click on here and control V to paste. And now instead of G, the only thing I got to do here is change all of these to F. So this is going to be F, 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 F. Okay. Now let's just watch this magic happen. I am going to center and center. And now if I just type in question one, it should change both of these. Shack. 
apartment, mansion, house, or nothing because they have to answer it. Okay. Actually, let's see, just one. Now what I want to do is I want to resize all of this so that it looks big and full. Okay, so to do that, I do want to select all of the columns. And I want you to notice if I want, so I want, if I want this to fill in, really what I have to fix are the rows. Okay, because I have extra spaces in the columns on the side. So let me show you what I mean. I am going to select from the very first one all the way to the very last one. It has to encompass everything because I want it to be the same size. And then I'm going to slightly make this bigger and notice how the image also got bigger. Okay, so again, right? So now that might be too big because students have to scroll and sometimes I don't like that. So maybe we make it slightly smaller. Right, where I saw I made it a little bigger, but still slightly smaller. And then I have to resize these here. So now I'm gonna resize these to be smaller. So what I'm trying to achieve is not a lot of borders. I'm trying, for, since, since all these images are gonna be the same size, I'm gonna right click and resize columns and maybe make these, let's try 60. Okay, let's try more resize so let's try 58 too much <laughs> resize of 59 so again you have to play around with the size here that's perfect for me right because now that image fits perfectly in that square and because all of my images will be the same size right if i do two that fits still perfectly in there okay and now what I can do is I can select all these. We are going to center everything and center. So uh, center and then vertically align in the middle. So are these two here. And then I want to make these bigger. Right, so, and then eventually we can change the colors uh, to make them look neater. Maybe I will select all of these and put a border around them. Maybe each of these will be a different color. Like this one can be, I, I love using these, this tool here. Um, maybe this will be, you know, matching this. Something like that. And the next one can be a different color. So we'll see, we'll see how, where the, where the colors take us when we, once we have everything that we need. Okay. But now let's just repeat. Okay. So repeat. So the next one will be, where did you graduate from college? So I am going to go ahead and copy this control a for all of it and control C to copy, go over here, paste, but now instead of, um, E11, I am going to be at number 18, right? So these were all the 11s, and now these are going to be 18 because these are the colleges. So I'm going to change all those 11s to 18s. 18. All right, so this one ended at 19. There's a fluff in between, right? So 20, so I'm going to bet this is going to be 21, 22, 23, 24. But let's see if, oh, okay, let's see. I don't like that. Oh, these we can make. I just, sorry, but I realized is that um, it doesn't all fit. So we gotta make these smaller. <laughs> okay. That's okay. So these need to be size 10. So that the whole sentence fits in one line. 
Okay, that's good. All right, now I just want to make sure that my answers are correct. Uh, what did I put? Um, 16, 17, 18. Oh, did I not fix it? E. I said 19. Oh, we didn't change this, right? So this would be the same. So this would be 21, 22. These have to match. <laughs> 23, 24. But let's see if that is correct. Is that it? Yep. So here we go. 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, so now the college images. Um, what do I have for colleges? I got to remember. I think I did... Um, Cal State Fullerton, if I don't, if I remember correctly. So, Cal State Fullerton. And another one was Stanford. And then I had no college. And then I had Hogwarts. <laughs> some, some will just be fun. All right, now let's see if those work. So five should be Cal State Fullerton. There we go. Six, Stanford. Seven will be no college. And eight will be Hogwarts. All right, let's leave that at eight. And now... What I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring those images in. So same thing as we did before. I'm gonna go here and I am going to add a new page, bring up the images, and now I'm gonna find the colleges from here. So um, same as before, right? Here's Hogwarts. New one, and then the next one is going to be CSUF. And set as new image. And then the next one will be uh, looking for them here, Stanford. And set as image. And the last one will be Stanford. No college, here it is. Okay, set this background. And now we're gonna sh uh, share, download, PNG, but now instead of all pages, I am going to do uh, five, six, seven, and eight. And download. You can do all of these at a time. It's just because I'm doing steps uh, to take this um, by steps. <laughs> so here's the next one. Lower this. Lower this. Go over here. Make this a little bit smaller. And here we go. So the first one is Hogwarts. So I'm going to click where I want my image to go. Insert image in the cell, drag and drop. Next one is Kelsey Fullerton, insert image and in cell. The next one, Stanford, insert image and in cell. And then the last one is going to be no college, insert image and in cell. Uh, no college. All right, so here we go. Now I'm going to close that and make this bigger. And okay, so we I have the images, but I haven't moved this over. So I'm going to select all this, copy that formula, double click and paste. And now instead of G, remember these are F, right? And so it's the one before it. So change all the G's to F's for that one. And there it is. Now that one is Hogwarts. 
maybe we make this one change the color and we make this one this brown color now hogwarts is done but maybe they don't want to go to hogwarts maybe they don't want to go to college here it is here's no college oh my goodness i love this activity it's coming out so cute okay so this is the time where i am just going to very much be just repeating the entire process when i get into a habit and i am just repeating the process um I just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm going to be just copying and pasting the formulas. Uh, so I'm gonna start with the top one. Okay, so click here. Actually, let's go with the last one. So I'm gonna go on this one, copy, and then I'm gonna paste that here. Why did I start with the last one? Is because now I can count in my head. Okay, so this was 18. My next one is at 25. All right, so this is where this these answers are. So I'm going to change all the 18s to 25s. All right, so all the 18s, again, all the 18s to 25s. Okay, and then the last step is, again, to count, right? So if this is 24, I'm going to have one fluff, 25. So then that means that this is going to be 26, 27, 28, 29. And then the second ones need to match 26, 27, 28, 29. Enter. And then now I can copy this. Control A and copy. Double click and paste. And now instead of G's, I'm going to change these to F's. F, F, F. F. There it is. Okay. And then I can go ahead and I can take care of the word. If I could take care of just the word before I bring in the images, then I'm going to know whether or not that is correct. Okay. So the careers that I picked are a uh, video game designer. I picked athlete. I picked a uh, space explorer and YouTube influencer. All right, so those are my my names that I picked. So now all I gotta do is just delete a couple and then make sure that it shows up. If it actually shows up, then that means I'm good to go, okay? And again, I think I might be changing some of the sizes around and the reason for that is because I don't like how tiny the words are. If a student's working on a Chromebook, this is really, really small but that'll, that'll come later. So, okay, this is done. Now I can copy um, the last one. So I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna paste. Okay, and now my next one would be at 32. 32, yep. So I'm gonna change all of these to 32. 32, 32. 32, 32, 32, 32, 32. And then again, we have one fluff, so 29, 30. So then this would be 31, 32, 33, 34. And then these need to match 31, whoop, 32, 33, 34. Enter. Um, let's leave just one and then copy, paste, and change the G's to F's. F, 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 F. And uh, pets. I picked some funny pets. Um, I picked a dog and a cat. Those are just fine. So let's put dog here and cat here. And then this is gonna be, I think I picked a uh, phoenix and I picked a dragon. So there you go, phoenix, perfect. That worked. So now I'm gonna copy this one. We're almost done, we're getting there. Copy, those are pets. And then this is gonna go here. 
Next one's city, and that's 39. So we're going to change all the 32s to 39s. I know that there are ways that you could just like automatically have sheets do it for you, but I'm just not that kind of person. I like to have full control. Um, so this is my method. So 35 is my fluff, so that means it's going to be 36, 37, 38, and 39. And these are going to match 36, 37, 38, 39. Enter. Control A and C to copy. Control V to paste. And change the G's to S. Okay. City. So cities I picked. Um... Tokyo. I know I talked about these, so it was. Let's do Paris, France, Tokyo, Japan, Los Angeles. I definitely put California, but that might be long. California, or we could just put Los Angeles. Oh, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do Los Angeles, California, and Narnia. There we go. Okay, Paris, France. And then the last one's car. Let's take this one and copy, paste. And the car is at 46. So 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46. And ooh. And 46. 40 is going to be my fluff there, so it's going to be 41. Oh no, what did I do? 41. And 41. 42. 43. 44. And then these need to match. 41. My goodness, my numbers. 42. 43. 44. Enter. And for cars, I have uh, Tesla Model X Jeep Wrangler. I had a Batmobile, <laughs> Batmobile and Flintstones car. Okay, so now I just have to finish the images. And this part I am going to not record. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this part outside. Again, the tip is just to use something that's going to give you the same size for everything, just for the sake of this video um, and for me to go to bed. And then I will continue the rest of this video tomorrow to add in our questions. Um, I will see you in a little bit. Okay, so, so far um, I had forgotten in the last step to paste the formula into this one. So I did have to go and paste the formula that I had here into this one and put in the Fs. And the last step that I have is to add the pictures. So one more time of adding these pictures in case you need that repetition um, for the cities. So I am going to go over to sheet two. This is where the images are gonna go. I've done the same process um, for all the other ones. I'm gonna open up my Canva page. I am going to add a page and I'm going to go over to the images that I already had just to resize. And these are going to be the cities. So I'm looking here on my images and I'm going to find those cities. I have Narnia is one of them. And I'm going to set this as the background. And then remember, I have these weird things because AI is so weird with images. So I'm going to cover this. Um... AI is weird with text. So I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna make the background of it white. And then this will be Narnia. That's what we wanted. So on the size. So I can live in Narnia. Oh, uh, let's see if I can make it closer to instead of white. Uh, can we make that? Yeah, it looks better. Okay. So I like that, uh, that nicer. So this is Narnia in the winter. Is it really Narnia? No, but 
uh, we're using images that are the same size. So Narnia is one of them. Uh, Paris. And I'm just going to add them as the background after since they're uploading. Um, Los Angeles. And I'm going to add another sheet. And I'm missing Tokyo. And here's Tokyo. So I'm going to close this because I'm not going to need that anymore. Now I'm going to go back to this page 12, select the image, right click, set as image background. Do the same with the other one, set as image background and set as image background. And what this does now, right, it's made all my images um, the same size. And I am okay with them being cropped a little because it's going to give it a little bit of an edge um, when I get into the uh, sheet. So share. I know you can't see that. Let me bring this down. Share, download, PNG. And then instead of all pages, I'm going to unselect. And then I'm just going to go to the last four. One, two, three, four. Done. Download. And these are going to be the last four images that I'm using. So this is a process I've been repeating. And again, I just wanted to do it off camera without talking because then I work a lot faster. Um, all right, I'm going to open this up. Here are the images. Close Canva up because I won't be using it anymore. It's a little smaller so you can see that process. And now let's add these in. So my first one here is Narnia. So I'm gonna go to insert image in the cell, bring over Narnia. The next one is Paris. So go to Paris, insert image and bring over Paris. Next one's LA insert image and bring over LA and then the last one should be Tokyo then and insert image and bring over Tokyo close this so I won't be needing it sheet one make sure it worked and then I've just been adding colors um, that match whatever image ended up uh, being picked so on this one I'm gonna select uh, use the color picker and I'm gonna go with this pink here because I haven't used pink yet and then select both of them and choose that color okay this is basically now a functioning template you can add questions you can add answers and bam it's all ready to go for students what I'm gonna do this next portion portion three is going to be to make it pretty and then I will add the questions and then all of that okay so uh, we're still not quite done because I still have to make it nice so the first step here let me Make this nice and big and make sure that everything's showing up on the screen. Okay, so I need to make the title. I'm gonna center it and center it and make it bigger. Mine's gonna be called Math Mash. You can end up uh, changing it to whatever you want. Okay, and then I do want a... Um, some sort of uh, short, um, so a, a short description of what MASH is uh, to include as instructions for students. Okay, so that's, that's what I'm looking for to put over here. So I'm gonna type something like, um, let's see, MASH, mansion, up, apartment shack house is a fun fortune telling game where you get to imagine your future you'll answer math questions in each category like where you'll live your future job or what kind of pet you'll have. Based on your answers, a unique future will be revealed. Just remember, choose one answer per question to see your result. All right, so that is just kind of um, some instructions. They're general. I did go ahead and use the text wrapping tool, and I am going to, I don't want to center. I usually I like instructions to be left 
um, left justified. I am going to put it in the middle. And then I'm going to make it slightly bigger. I think that's good. Maybe I can make this even bigger. We'll, change, we'll mess with the font after too, I think. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, perfect. These are, this is architect. I think I might do that for all of these. It's because it looks like fun and quirky. Um, and then this is gonna be the place for questions and answers for teachers, right? So I'm just gonna leave that open for now as part of the template. The next thing that I am gonna do though is I'm gonna, uh, let's see, let's put a big thick border around the whole thing maybe like that or do I want the quite I think I want this okay so let's put actually a thin border around the whole thing and then a thick border yeah I think that's what I want okay so that's this is what I want for my questions to look like okay so I'm gonna select the whole thing Okay, and then do a thin border around all of it. So go repeat all that, select each category, thin border, select, e oop, select each category and thin border, select the category, thin border. Last, now I want a thick border, so select the category, change the thickness to the large one and then just select the outline. So just select the outline, select all of it, outline. I just like the way that it looks. And then the last thing that I want to do here um, with the colors, I want the colors to match. So mash is this one, right? So I'm going to select control and select the other one because it's going to help me choose that exact color. College. I mean, you, we can also, this is the career going to be this exact green pet will be this yellow one city will be this pinkish one and car will be the blue one that teal all right so that i like the way that looks now i need the borders now i need to make sure i like the border colors but before i do that i am going to view and hide the grid lines, the rest of the grid lines. So look at how nice that looks now. Right, there's nothing, there, those grid lines are now gone. The only ones that are left are the ones that I purposely want. Um, so now I am going to make my border, select by using control, I'm gonna select the first row, first column, last row and last column, a big border, and I'm going to select one of these colors, the whatever one makes me happier I think I'm gonna go with green and then I'm gonna select the second one of each to give it a nice thicker border you don't have to do this this is all optional um, and then I'm gonna select yell that yellow okay so here is my math mash mansion apartment shack and house I think I'm gonna put dot dot Time. Time. all right so here this is the template it's all done this is how it's going to look if you want to make it bigger or smaller you absolutely can right um you can make these um let me make it full screen right so full screen you obviously can't see the full screen but i want to see what it looks like if i go full screen there's not a lot of scrolling for students to do it's actually all showing up pretty well on one page um, so I will keep this size. Uh, you can always put in extra spaces if you wanted something like that. I'm going to erase these answers so that you can get an idea of what's due. So this is what it would look like for students before they start answering questions, right? So if this is two, uh, just some of the different questions, this was five, six, seven, eight, this was nine. This would be 14. This would be uh, 19. Okay. Oh, well, what happens if the answer is incorrect? Let's do 22. Oh, well, that was a correct one. Nothing happens. Okay. So 
So if their answer doesn't end up being correct, just nothing's going to happen. No card's going to show up. So here's another 4 Chen for a student. All right. I wonder if maybe we make all of these a different color. I'm not sure what happens if we put if we make these bold and a little bigger. I just don't like that this one. Where will you graduate from college? I don't like how this is how this is said. too long like from which college will you graduate um, where will you graduate I think that's what I'm gonna put where were you where will you graduate from ah that's better okay so now it's a little bigger yeah I think that I like that better all right and then these I know some of these are longer. Um, I think that's okay. Okay, that should hopefully work out. Um, I do want the text to be bigger. And again, now that you're going to start adding your questions and your answers, um, you can change your template and stuff around. These could even be images for your questions. So that's the next step. Stick around if you want to do that. I will be posting this. I am going to call this, now instead of working template, this is just going to be teacher template, and it's ready to go. This is what you'll see. You'll have all the images, so if you want to use exactly what I did, you can do this. So now for the next step, we're going to start adding our questions and our answers. So I'm going to file, and I'm going to make a copy. Yours will be a forced copy. And this is going, mine is going to be a mash uh, integer multiplication and division. Um, let's call it dividing and uh, multiplying and dividing integers. Uh, review. And then this will end up being the answer key. All right, let's make a copy. So now this part is going to be the questions and the answers. I am going to go ahead and delete all of the answers. And I'm going to, so this is my blank template. I am going to leave it. Yeah, let's leave that there. Okay, I got this going. I'm so excited for this activity. I can't wait to show it to my coworkers. Um, and hopefully you are finding this useful. Please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, right, I, I gain nothing from this yet. I am not actually fully monetized or anything like that yet, but helping me will help me get there and it'll keep me motivated to keep making more of these. So remember everything that I share for you is for free. I want you to share these with your students. I want you to tell me how it's going. Um, it really brings a huge smile to my face to see how many of my activities are being used all over the place. Okay. So I need, let's see, I have six, so I'll do three multiplication and three division. So let's come up with some problems. So I need 12 integer multiplication problems um, with negative and positive answers. I'm typing this into AI, by the way. So I need 12 integer multiplication problems with negative and positive answers. This is what I'm looking for. Um, I want eight uh, of two into integer multiplication and eight where All right, let's see if I get some, some good questions here. Oh, I think I did that wrong. It's, mm, that's too many problems, I think. That's too 
A. Oh, I guess that's okay. We'll do some division. Yeah, okay, let's let's keep these problems. They're not too bad. Okay, so let's do see how it copies it. If I can copy and paste directly. Oh, I hate that. I don't want to use that. Okay, so the first one's gonna be five and then times negative three. So here's the thing, I don't wanna use the X for multiplying, I'm kind of over that. So what I use is I use this page called symbol salad um, to get the text for the multiplication bullet. So it's just this, you just click on it and it uh, pastes it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to that. So negative seven times six. Um, the next one is negative four times negative eight. And uh, nine times negative two. And I think that's so. Um, I don't like the rest of it. Let me get two. So let me get four integer multiplication. Where the integers are different. All right, so these. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to take this. I'm going to make these bigger. I think size 24 is good. And then I'm going to hit this, this tool here, which is the uh, paint format going to change that formatting for everything to match. I am going to change this to, I think, Ari mm, Allegra. There's one of them that I really like for math font, but I always forget which one it is. Allegria, I feel like that's the one that gives me nice uh, variables. Hmm. Alice is I want it to look mathy. I think this one, let's use that one. Yeah, we'll use Able. And all of these to be the same, so I'm just using that paint. And then the paint. And the paint. Okay, so this is gonna be negative 15. This will be negative 42. This will be positive 32. And then this will be negative 18 as the answers. And I want this to be um, also, I mean, size 21 is probably okay. And we are going to copy font size for all of these. Copy the font size. Okay. So they're going to be okay. And then now I got to go. And uh, change these, right? So, um, again, the answers. Let me see if I remember them. For these, are going to be negative fifteen, negative forty-two, um, positive thirty-two, and negative eighteen. Were those right? Okay, I think that's right. Okay, so now let's erase two of these. There we go. Shock works. Apartment. Mansion and house. Perfect. These all work. So I'm going to leave those with the answers because, again, this is going to be the answer key. I'm going to take a moment right now to hide my formula bar because I don't like to have the formula bar. All right. The next set of questions. I need this bullet. I don't remember if I still have it copied or not. I want this to be a little bit of like tougher, uh, 15 times negative 14 maybe. Um, uh, let's do negative 17 times 20. Um, uh, And let's do this would be negative two ten. This would be negative three forty. 
Right. Yep. And then this is, let's do negative 18 times 13. Oh. Ow. Oh my goodness. Negative 18 times 13. And then this is going to be negative 16 times negative 19. Like everything is one and the other. Okay, let me change. So two and two, are there two positive? Let's make this one two positive ones. All right, and I do need a calculator. 18 times 13, 234. Sixteen times nineteen. That's three oh four. Okay, so negative two ten and negative three forty. Negative two ten and negative three forty. Two thirty four and three oh four. And now let's just make sure this works. There we go. Perfect. All right, that works. Perfect. Okay, let's keep going. I'm just adding questions right and then adding answers so the questions go here and then you just have to add your matching questions here and because you have the template everything should work okay it, you can also use the template that is set up and now you can change your images maybe you find nicer images um, you can change your categories maybe instead of car you want salary and you just want to know how much salary that they'll make and have like an image of of money or something like that so i would love to see what you come up with but that's really the it you can i'm going to finish writing the questions up and um the last step will be to just hide everything uh hide the sheet too and all the answers uh that we don't need so i will do that at the end so let me just keep going here and adding my questions but if you know what you're doing you can either pause or fast forward or let it play in the background because letting it play helps me out but that's up to you all right, let me get those problems now here. Um, negative two times three times negative four and five times negative two times six and negative three times negative five times two and Seven times four. No, I don't want to make singles. Times eight, three. Eight times negative one times five. All right, just some different um, to, to put in the answers here. All right, this is going to be twenty four negative sixty. Fifty-four and seventy-two. Right, and now let's put 
those answers in. The next one, so 24, negative 60, 30, 84. Um, 40, negative 36, 54, and 72. And let's verify that these work. One didn't work. Oh, that's negative. There we go. All right, good. And then, um, the last two uh, will be division. I need eight. Um, four, Okay, now for this one, I am going to need the division one. So that is, here's my symbol, division sign. I hate the division sign, but hey, we got what we got. Okay, so it's be 12 by four, which is three. Um, 10 divided by five, which is two. And then we'll do negative nine divided by three, which is negative three. And a divided by two, mm, let's do negative two, which is negative four. So I want to be 48 divided by six, which is eight. 75 divided by negative 15, which is negative five. And negative 144 divided by negative 12, which is 12, and 100 divided by negative 20. Let's do negative 100 divided by positive 25, which is negative 4. All right, three, two, three, two, negative three, four. Oh, shoot, what did I do? No. Oh, it's negative four. Yep. Okay. Perfect. That worked. Oh, boy. This was three. Two, negative three. Good. Okay. Good. And good. Good. Okay, perfect. And then now the last ones eight, negative five, eight. Negative five, negative twelve, negative four. Good. Love that one. Good. Good. And okay, why did this one work? One negative twelve. Okay, there we go. Eight negative five and negative four all right here is 
it. This is the answer key. All the questions are in here. Um, and from here, oh, this is why we had this. Oh, okay. We're gonna, I'm gonna have to change this. I don't like that. See how I, like, that's what, what I needed. I'm gonna change that. Okay, so I'm going to change this and here's what I'm gonna do because now that this looks like this, uh, please answer just one question. Instead of putting in this section, I'm just gonna change that to just please answer just one question. And that's gonna, in this section will be at the bottom. And the reason for that is because I don't wanna shrink the, text so I'm, yeah I think that's better I don't want to shrink the text but at the same time I still want the warning and I'm going to change the template too so let's go into this template oh Please answer just one question. Now we can talk about how to hide the answers. Now that looks way better. Okay, from here, we're gonna go into sheet two. Remember, this is all ready to go. We can share this with students once we tidy it up. So I'm gonna go over to sheet two and I am going to delete everything that I do not need. Okay, so again, I'm gonna delete everything that I do not need. Before I do that, I am going to make a copy. Uh, no, let's not make a copy. We'll make a copy of the other one. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so what I don't need is I don't need these titles. I want you to see how when I erase these, nothing happens. I also don't need these. So anything extra, I'm just gonna get rid of because Again, we don't need it. So I'll just highlight in and delete. All the text, I'm gonna select the text, just the text. I'm gonna right click, view more cell options and conditional formatting. Select the text, right click, view more cell options, conditional formatting. I am going to change the background to white and the font to white because it makes it virtually disappear. And then I'm gonna change the font size to size one. Now students can't see that. My next step is to hide everything else. Okay, so I'm gonna close these rules. I'm gonna select from column B all the way to Z. Right click at the top and go to hide. And then I'm going to make this really tiny. So now everything is gone. That was by selecting here up here, making it really tiny. You can even make the rows really tiny, right? You select the whole thing and make these go up. And then the last thing that you could do if you want to, especially if you have older students, you can right click here and protect the sheet. So you can protect the sheet by sending permissions. If you are making copies on your own that you are the owner of, for example, from like Canvas, these would stick. If you are making, if students are forcing their own copies, these will not stick. But a good thing to do is set permissions and uh, restrict who can edit and only you. It'll give this sheet a lock right there. Um, and then when you right click and you go to hide sheet, if somebody that is not you, the owner, is showing up here without making a copy, they will not be able to edit that second sheet. Okay. So that's just something you could do. You don't have to do that second part, but you would have to hide it. So you don't have to lock it, but you would have to hide it. So this is the answer key now. Answer key looks funky. 
Uh, you can set it up this way. So I'm gonna go file, make a copy, and from here, this is going to be my uh, one possible, oh my goodness. Set of answer key, this will be one possible student answer just because this is what I want to share with teachers when I'm explaining what they would do, right? So maybe I'm gonna answer that one and this one and that one and that one, that one and that one. one. Uh-oh, what happened here? Ooh, I'm gonna have to fix something because notice how there's two here two answers and yet that the Tesla came up. So what happened? Oh, it's this one. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. We're going to have to fix all of them. That's okay, because by the time you're seeing this, they will be fixed. Didn't catch that earlier. Okay, here is this one student's answer sheet. And then last but not least, I'm gonna to go to file, make a copy, and then this will be the student version. Okay, so student version. The student version is important because once you make the student version, student version, uh, or student sheet, let's call it student sheet. Right. These answers have never lived here. So now um, when you make a copy of this, no answers have ever lived on this sheet. So st uh, students are completely responsible for putting those answers in um, and watching this interact. So I hope that you found this useful. I hope that you use these activities. I will be making a couple of different versions um, on part two. So part two is going to be just about editing this template. Um, so if you watch part two, come join. I will have some more freebies that are not about integers. I do plan on making one for AP statistics. So that'll probably be my second version. I will make it on probability, um, but it'll be the same images and everything. So it'll just be about updating that template. I hope to see you on the next one. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you found this useful to help my channel grow. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.